What's up my ninjas? Um, my name is Kainoa. For those of you that don't know who I am, um, I will be your Tuesdays on The Daily Dose. Um, I'm uploading this a bit early because I have this conference to go to because I'm trying to get this cutout dissection campaign. I mean, resolution passed. But anyways, <clears throat> a little bit about me. I'm 17. I live in Hawaii. Um, I'm currently playing soccer. Um, I label myself as gay but I'm homoflexible and I usually don't say that because people are always like what's that so I'm gonna tell you guys um, it's basically when you're pretty much 90% or 95% attracted to girls and the rest is you the 5% you could go out with a guy or whatever you know what I mean or don't know what I mean uh, um, let's see what else is interesting my favorite movie is Avatar um, favorite show is Xena Warrior Princess. I watch that all the time. Um, 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 um. Oh, and another favorite show is Road Rules Real World Challenges. <sighs> so yeah, and I'm student body president of my school, so gays are in charge. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Life in a nutshell. Um, so first off, I just want to say I am stoked to be on this lovely channel. And you'll be seeing this face every Tuesday, but today not so much. But okay, um, this week's topic is um, gay hatred. Let me tell you all about this. Now, have I experienced it um, recently? No. When I came out to my friends, um, well, my close group of friends, they were totally accepting. Nothing really happened. I think the worst experience that I've had, with friends at least, is um, I told one of my good friends, well not good good friends, you know what I mean, and um, she kind of just ignored me for about like a week or so, and then she started talking to me again, but not like the same, there's a distance, but that's pretty much all, and I guess um, my sister, she's a total bitch, so she basically calls me all the names in the book that you could possibly imagine. So, yeah. But I don't think that counts because sisters are like that. So, I'm saying so a lot. Um, my advice to you is if you're getting bullied or teased, do not take it personal because it is not your fault. You are awesome just the way you are. You are perfectly cool and awesome. It's the person that is teasing you that has issues. Um, and they do not hate you personally. They hate what you are or dislike what you are because they were brainwashed or persuaded by their family or religion or society or anything that LGBT people are bad and um, you're not so if they're teasing you don't be like oh my gosh I suck my life sucks blah 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 you're perfectly fine it's the idiot or person that decides to tease you and bring you down that has the issue so don't take it personally because you are fine how you are and there are millions of supporters out there that have your back 110 percent so just remember that whenever you get teased or whatever it's their fault they're, something's wrong with them. They're arrogant, close-minded, myopic, myopic people. So it's not your fault. And there's people that support you. Um, so, But if you're getting physically bullied, um, my advice would be talk to the counselors. Just t rat, rat them out because they are just... They should not resort to violence. Nothing should resort, ugh, nothing should resort to violence because um, there's no point to it. So if they really are that weak, they have to pick on somebody physically or mentally, then they have issues and you need to talk to the counselor because why should your day be brought down or why should your um, day get worse because of them and their ways of thinking. So do not ever let another person bully you or um, pick on you and bring your day down because you don't deserve that. You deserve to have an awesome day, and they are just ruining it. So you go and tell your counselor or whoever you want to tell, because that is the right thing to do. Um, and my advice to people that witness bullying or um, stuff like that, 
um, because they're sexual orientation, don't just, I mean, if you have the courage to stand up and just be like, dude, that's uncool, stop, or even like, dude, give them that weird look, or just, just say something, or stand up for them, because if I saw that, well, trust me, no, no one will do that to, in front of me, but if I did see that, I would stand up for them, um, but there's, I think that there is a point where silence is betrayal, and you need to, you can't just make it seem like it's okay, because if a guy is bullying somebody, or a girl is bullying somebody, and the whole entire class doesn't say anything, then the whole entire class is gonna think, oh, okay, that's fine. No, you have to say something. But anyways, that's beyond whatever this topic is. But, um, again, you are awesome. Don't change you. Don't think you have to change. You were born the way you were, and you're meant to be the person you are today. So don't let these other people bring you down because they because of their um, views. Because you are awesome. Yeah. Um, um, so. so I hope this video helped you guys, and <clears throat> I hope you guys like this video. Also, if you want to get to know me more or um, want to see my personal channel, I'll link it below. Yeah. Um, so I'll see you guys next Tuesday. And again, thank you Jess for letting me be on this awesome collab channel thingy. Um, comment whatever, I love them. So comment whatever, blah, 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 blah. Okay, peace out, Girl Scouts. Show me